Hello friends, Fujosevich here. Welcome back to some... Ooh, this is a decent pickup uh, to start the game as well. Welcome back to some mid-range secret hunter. We're going to be looking to curve out relatively decently here. Obviously we want to save kill command for a bit later, but we have secret keeper with a couple secrets. So that can definitely keep the good times going here a little bit until we run into a true silver. Oh! Well, that's kind of interesting, now isn't it? I don't think I'm going to give a draw quite just yet. I'll, I'll basically wait until I can kill the Secret Keeper off with something that my opponent plays. That's a really unfortunate uh, card for me to be seeing there before my opponent. So we'll see what happens here. That's a, that's a really interesting card. And I think, I think we see this early off in the season sometimes when you get thrown to low ranks. You get to see the more creative decks, which honestly I really enjoy making my own homebrews, even if they're not really the most competitive or the strongest. That's a part of Hearthstone that I really like. And I do like the competitive aspect as well, to be honest, but... What is this? I don't think he's ever going to attack into my 2-3, to be honest with you. That's the only problem there. Although if he plays an ooze, I guess... Well, if he plays an ooze, it's still massive value loss for me. Um, I don't know what I do here. I hope I... Top deck of four drop. Um, I, I need to put in a little bit of face damage, even though obviously my opponent can have lots of great things to to heal himself back up as a paladin. But seeing blessing of wisdom, who knows? I don't know. Maybe that's a tech new tech card that I don't know about. Oh, this is actually hopefully very good. Nothing excellent. Oh, bog creeper. That's kind of neat. Attacking in, that would be the best one for me, right? Yeah, that's absolutely the best one for me. That's a really strange choice, isn't it? Like, everything about that is good for me right now. Like, I was in really, really big trouble when Secret Keeper... <laughs> when Secret Keeper had that... Um, oh, this is actually really good, too, here. We'll buff up our Secret Keeper. Still give our opponent a draw, though. Um, and we will, and that's Catrick, that's okay, and then we'll steady shot here, and I think we'll continue to pump in damage, because we are getting kind of close, we have 8 in hand, 5 in hand, that's 13, we have another 5 on board here already for next turn, so we're getting close, um... Oh, Hogger. Unexpected. The unexpected uh, menace of Elwyn Forest. Uh, how do we do this? Um, let's wait a second. Oh, we could kill command, actually. We could use the weapon, kill command that, and then go face with a whole bunch, right? I kind of like that, because then it forces... Mm, do we like that, actually? Three, four, five, and then we drop down a fiery bat. And what happens if we get hit with consecration next turn? Then on seven, we have basically nothing to do. No, then we put another five to face. Or I go weapon here and then trade in. It's kind of sloppy. I like I like this because this gets me consistent damage now. Into face. And because we have rag coming out soon. I kind of like this play, because there's a lot of damage on board. Now what is this? 6, 7, 7 plus 5? That's, that's lethal on board. But obviously a Consecrate or even a Wild Pyro into any spell basically shuts me down. Is one of the really interesting things about this deck, and probably why it's good for laddering. Yeah, Consecration. Bad news for me. That's okay. Another 5 on board. Although if he gets a big heal next turn. I don't know how I'm going to feel. Well, I know how I'll feel. I'll feel very bad, but... Um, Animal Companion, always Huffer, right? That's what everyone says online. I don't think there's any need for me to use my charge here. My last charge. Oh, I guess I could have Freezing Trapped. Mm, no, I'm hoping to, to win it earlier, though. Ivory Knight, don't roll something big, and we have a chance. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty big. Um, okay. Oh, that's 
gross for me right now. That is awful, awful news. Well, we have to hope Bragg does something awesome. Oh. Or do we want a Savannah High Main and Hero Power? Or Savannah High Main. We can't Freezing Trap that, that's for sure. And if we had an extra damage, we would definitely attack into the 4-4. I don't care about the 4 damage on face. I hope you take out the 4-4. Okay, well. Rag doing rag things here. That's one of the things. I mean, that, that we don't run Call of the Wild anymore. But, well, at least I don't in this deck. I know some people actually, a couple people brought Call of the Wild to BlizzCon World Championships this past weekend. But I like kind of topping out at rag, having Savannah High Mains. Let's show our Moros. What are you doing here? Oh, that's just going to flood the board. That's what that's going to do. <sighs> that's kind of scary, right? You don't want to play a true silver for me? You don't want to be that kind to me? Um, so we're going to get a bit of damage into face here. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we need to play the bigger threat. And now that I'm down a kill command, I obviously can't set up for turns away, but I am definitely expecting a heal for my opponent at some point. If they heal for 18 now, I'm going to be in very bad shape. If they throw down a Tyrion, we're in bad shape. Ooh, Holy Wrath. Oh, a 5? That's into Consecration? Oh, here we go. Here is value. Is he going to hold it? No, he does. He doesn't like those 2-2s, two as, he, as he shouldn't. There's no way he would leave up a 2-2, two -two, right? Is he going to double trade? I'm very okay with that. We could uh, we could get lethal if we draw a good beast with 10 mana. You have to trade in with Moros if you just did that, right? If we draw a beast, it's going to be lethal. Because this is 5, 6, 7. Oh, okay, well that's lethal then. I wanted to Harrison. Can I still Harrison Jones? No, no BM. No BM. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. That was an interesting game. I thought Rag did a couple things. If you're enjoying the video, feel free to subscribe for more of them. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time.